All right, morning, morning. I think I left the last video clip on a cliffhanger. Our tent broke while we were trying to set it up again. So as you can see, we made it work. Uh, well, we just pack up now. It was like 7.30. I ain't got a care in the world. We just got to bebop that way. Um, yeah, really nice not having aggressive to, uh, to aggressively have to push miles the first few days on the trail. Um, as long as we start sitting in that 20 pace, we're Gucci. Eating a Gatorade protein bar for breakfast. And the caramel tastes very fakely caramel. So, little heads up there. Magpie, yeah. how you feeling? I'm awake. Okay. I guess the uh, awake is a feeling. So, yeah. We're going to pack up. Go that way. So the difference about wash walking on the Grand Enchantment Trail and on the Hated Trail is you walk this wash and you don't have any expectations about death shortly, which is really nice. It's still kind of wash walking, but you don't feel that around the next corner you're about to jump off a cliff to your death. Beautiful morning so far. Really pretty. The trail kind of peters in and out along the wash. Um, just really, really pretty. Sometimes the trail's like actually right next to us but with how tall that grass is. Sometimes the wash walking is actually easier. And easier is also a vague term, but yes. All right, about a mile or so after La Barge Spring, there's actually flowing water through this little wash. Don't know how much it stays here, but pretty good flow. I can dig it. Don't need water, but it's nice seeing this amount of water. So about a mile from Whiskey Spring proper, another great water. This is just a little barge canyon like wash area that we've just been kind of beep bopping around. Really good water. I mean, Whiskey Spring is like over that way. So I bet that this is just an outflow from Whiskey Spring, which is over there. But we go that way. We go away from it, yeah. Yeah. But really good water. Good water. Yeah. Then we go up that way. You see it? That's awesome. Ooh. I've never seen a Gila monster in the wild. That's cool. Very cool. I would sleep there. Yeah. It doesn't actually look like anything lives in here. No. And there's a campfire. Mm -hmm. All right, so even after the junction of Whiskey Creek, since Whiskey Creek's a little off trail, Whiskey, ooh, spring. Whiskey spring, something just went into the water. Um, more great water, as you can see. This is the uh, upper Lavar's box canyon. I, it's my, I, I think you picked that up. Upper Lavarge Box Canyon. Yeah, great pools of water. It's actually flowing, it's flowing too. It's a stream. Yeah. Really pretty. This is beautiful. I like it today. There's going to be some, some schwack attack eventually. Like this stuff's thick, but I still like it. I'm actually doing a little rock climbing. Very fun. These smell really good. Lots of bugs, though. Yeah. Hi. Sugueros like to party. Sugueros it's like so to party. In the city that's not a city. It's actually the wilderness of Saguaros. Saguaros. 
See, th these are the joys of just kind of cruising on trails. Like, you see a lot when you're quickly bouncing around, but we've just been kicking it here for a second, and we're looking around at these rock walls. We would never have noticed the gigantic cave. Yeah, so we were, like, looking at this rock wall behind us, and we were looking at these, like, teeny caves tucked in here. And then we just looked up to the right. There's, like, a beautiful big cave in there. Look at that. All right, time to top, hop on the Holy Bacon Trail, which is pretty nice that they named the trail that. So, Holy Bacon, that way. You ready for some Holy Bacon? I think so. All right. So the trail definitely becomes less defined once you transition onto the Bacon Trail. Um, it makes you want bacon, but it's not as smooth as bacon. Still pretty cruisy, but definitely makes you check yourself a little bit more. There's some good cairns, just less to find. No, don't. Big cactus. Yeah. Don't face plant on the cactus. I would advise against. Number one magpie tip, don't face plant on a cactus. That's a good magpie tip. Yeah. All right, so aim for the big cactus. You climb up this little wash. The trail becomes very non-existent at many points. Go for this little tiny path. Yeah, so it peters in and out. Sometimes you can see it, sometimes there's nothing. Just follow the big cactus. There's like some cairns, but they're not really consistent. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, don't poke. They're very pokey. I gotta pull these right now. Yeah. All right, so that's Horse Camp Basin. Um, it's the top of this little kind of, I don't know what to call this, little bluff, little bit of a hill, top of this something. Um, really pretty, really, really pretty. What a wonderful trail so far. Um, gives you just enough schwack attack that it's not too bad. It's not a full schwack, but it's not full trail. It gives you just enough to keep you engaged. Really feeling it really feeling the Grand Enchantment Trail. Um, I can dig it. I can dig it. All right, so top of a little climb out of that little kind of valley floor. Now we are looking superstitions proper. Sweet. Superstition Mountains, baby. I mean, nice to be back in then. Today's actually a cool day with the wind. It's not too bad at all. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, sweat. Sweat. I'll wait up here for Magpie. Look out towards those superstitions. Pretty sweet. Ones? Yeah. All right, so this is Tortilla Creek. Um, not great pools so far, but 
feel like we're gonna about to hit a shady patch where there's gonna be some good pools. Ah, this one's not, honestly not too bad. Oh, that might be the best one. These aren't too bad. This one's not too bad. I think it starts to get dry the further we go on. Okay. Might drink from there. Tortilla Creek, just got some pools. So we've just been walking the wash after the first puddle, um, looking for shade to take lunch. And honestly, there's more puddles. It's not completely dry. Um, the trail is like a little over there. So if you're really needing water at this creek, why did I forget the name of the creek? Tortilla Creek. Tortilla Creek. Thank you, baby. If you're really needing water at Tortilla Creek, I would honestly just suggest walking the wash. Um, at least if you're going in our direction, once you get close to it and you should be able to find something. Again, that's when we're here in the month of April. April, today is the 19th. So it might be different if you're pushing that limit a little farther, but as, as of the time we're here, it's pretty Gucci. So there's enough water. And look, a little even fire ring. And we found our shady patch, I think for lunch. Either here or here. Not here right now. Yeah, yeah, I think we're okay. So, couldn't find the best shade spot, so we just settled for a regular shade spot. It's all right. It's all right. This is why I started the film, because we're taking lunch and I wanted to show you Magpie's cheese and my cheese. So it says, my cheese is a little sweaty. Yeah, a little sweaty. These used to be slices. It completely melted. And let's see if I can get you this view. How do I do this? Do you want me to hold the camera? Yes, please. So, these used to be slices of cheese. It is no longer slices of cheese. It says cheese mass. You want to drink the juice? I don't want to drink the cheese juice, no. Oh, yeah, it is. So, yeah, that's nice. Okay, good lunch. Yum, cheese juice. Oh, cheese juice. My nickname. Ew. <laughs> Trail name. Alright, once again, we're leaving the Holy Bacon Trail. Well, not once again, but New Trail Junction. We're going to the JF Trail. JF Trail. We go this way. Second Gila monster. What? Second Gila monster. You see him? Yeah. That's so cool. I've never seen one in the wild until today and there's two. Where are you going buddy? You going down the path? Yeah, that's where we want to go to. Waddle, 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 waddle. He does not care. It, it looked at me. Alright, so the trail really does just dissipate. Gone. Like it just becomes a schwack. Um, again, it's not a tip. Yeah, but not a consistent trail you can follow. Um, so trail 106. We just kind of keep going that way. Yeah, we just keep climbing up. Just find the dry patches or less pokey patches. <clears throat> Alright, we found it again. There is 
some type of trail here just very much dissipates every so often. Well, that's now two rattlers. Um, yeah, he's up in the S curve. Yeah, I think he startled it. Yeah, I think it startled me. And it's now two rattlers. Two rattlers and two Gila monsters. Two rattlers and two Gila monsters. Wow. You can still hear it just shaking its tail a little bit. I know, but I don't know where it went. I don't know where to go. It went into the bushes. Okay. It's like under this cactus. Can we name our puppy Gila Monster? No. Can we name you it Monster? keep your eyes on the rattler, babe. Can we name it Monster? Sure. All right, so there's still water in Clover Spring. A little bit. A little bit. It doesn't look like it's flowing. It doesn't look great either. This is at least where you cross on the trail. Um, I don't think that there's any more, probably. Technically, the icon is that way. This looks really dry, though. But yeah, this is where you cross right on the trail. Big puddle of water. Um, and honestly, when I say trail, there's not much of a trail. I think it goes that way. look way in the distance through this gap you can see Phoenix it can be really hard on the phone but that little shadows of like bumps those are buildings pretty cool and if you look way in the distance you also see a magpie hey. stick your hand in it baby I mean it looks pretty unoccupied no I wouldn't stick hand in it it does not look unoccupied. Beautiful rock. Yeah. It's so interesting. I wonder what made it shape like this. Probably a lot of wind blast directly from that creek down there. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're getting real close to Tortilla Pass, less than half a mile, somewhere in 0.3, 0.4. This Trail 106, it's pretty brushy. Um, a lot of the time it fizzles out, but sometimes you can follow the only beaten down path, but just because of where it's routed would be really hard to maintain the trail. It's on a lot of rock, loose rock, um, so it can't really get beat down to show a footpath and then yeah, a lot of people take different routes through the spiky stuff because it's different comfort levels. So the trail kind of just meanders all around. But we're about, I don't know, a little less than half a mile from connecting into Tortilla Pass and a different trail system. So let's go get it.
There's a magpie right Shpoplam. there. All right, we made it to Tortilla Pass. Um, switching from the 106 trail to Rogers Canyon one tail 10 trail. Um, 106 trail, it's not bad. It's just very slow going. Um, you're not gonna crush through there. I mean, you could, no reason to. Different mentality, Constantine, you see. Um, but yeah, it's just slow going. Um, just peters out a lot. Thick brush, a lot of cacti. It's not bad, it's just oh. slow. So, okay. yeah, That's we made it to, work. yes, it is. So we made it to 110. I'm gonna go that way. Hopefully the trail's a little more broken in, so we'll see what it has to offer. Did not see that again. All right, you know the game, Where's Waldo? Let's play the game, Where's the Rattlesnake? So we were coming up this climb. Out. The team just walked right past it. And yeah. I saw it at the last second it was about to step on. Yeah, so I didn't even see this thing, but you can't see it either. Let me zoom in one time. Bet you still can't see it. Let me zoom in a second time. Now you can see it. My foot was 100% two inches from its face. I mean, it's a very relaxed rattlesnake. I'm super happy. It like didn't even, I came up right next to it too. It didn't move. It like flicked its tongue out and was like, what are you doing? It didn't even move its head. It didn't even rattle. It didn't rattle. It hasn't moved from that position except to stick its tongue out. Like, it's fine. I'm really happy that they didn't freak out. Yeah. Woo! Okay. It's what? Yeah, that. It's a thistle party. Hey, 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 hey. They are quite pokey. They look beautiful, but they are quite, quite oop, pokey. Do that closely. You may see some thorns. They're not super nice. They're not super nice. Pretty. Not nice. Look at all of them. Everywhere. You're gonna have to make friends with cat's claws if you hike the Grand Enchantment Trail. Um, no, not the nice little kitty cat purr purr, but the plant cat's claws. They rip you to shreds. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to make friends with them if you hike the Grand Enchantment. Because. Slowly getting shredded. Huh. Of course, all. There's just like chunks of blue tarp on the ground. Yeah. Someone's stuff just got destroyed. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's not nice. No. I don't like that. A lot of brush there, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like it's, it's like a sliding door, but it's just holly. <laughs> a sliding door of holly? Yeah. That's, that would be and a you good. You have to slide it with your face. That would be a good song name, <laughs> Sliding Door of Holly. So we're hitting some, we're hitting some Hey Duke vibes. Try to walk the wash, but it made the pour off. Like you can navigate it, just be slow going. So you got to go up and around, and find a little side trail down. Um, yeah, very Hey Duke vibing. All right, so about half a mile from Angel Basin, start hitting some good pools of water. I climbed down that because, honestly. I'm used to the Hey Duke now, and I don't know. It's got in my system. There's actually a Cairn Trail that Magpie's on over to the right somewhere, but I'm just yeah, I'm just doing rock. I'm rock walking on wash. I'm used to the Duke, the Dukey Duke. All right, found a little seldom seen arch. Very reminiscent of the Hey Duke, but we don't have to climb it, which is nice. Hey Duke made us climb seldom seen arch, which was also mean. That is pretty mean. Yeah, it was icy. Mm. All right, so this is Rogers Creek. Um, about to join into the 112 trail, like 
less than 0 0.05 that way. But you cross this first, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Fill up. It's still flowing. It's really cold too. Oh, I like that. Perfect. All right, so we made it to camp. We are at the junction of, well, you're not gonna be able to see anything, but 112 trail is there. We came off the 110 trail to Rogers Creek, walked it up, found a better pool of water. And also you're not gonna be able to see, but our tent's pitched in this kind of open field. Not great camping actually here. The best camping is in the wash, but also- We don't wanna camp in the wash. Recommends against camping in a wash, just in case. I checked the weather earlier today. It's not supposed to rain, but- Like it just, always could. Yeah, just to be safe, so. And it would flood so fast if it was raining yeah. here. Great pool of water, about 0 0.05 up from where you cross Rogers Creek. Um, it's flowing pretty good. So yeah, there's also this giant fire pit. Again, camp is not great around here. Like all of this is ant territory. So we had to pitch our tent a little bit yonder past that log. You can barely make it out. But um, yeah, better get down on some beans. These are the choice. They're so good. Green chili beans. So 16 miles today ish somewhere in there i got my ass kicked <laughs> i'm so tired yeah yeah it was oh, a hot day i did day. not eat enough today and i don't do well in the heat and it was rough trail was i'm good, so tired it was a good swacky type of day and a lot of elevation gain so yeah just everything that defeats a magpie happened today yeah but it's oh, well. okay we're in camp and we're gonna eat good tomorrow is gonna be better yes we're gonna connect into the azt in like four miles let's get it